everyone, this is Jaykalpana here in this video. We're going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d square plus d minus 6 into y equals to x. So firstly, let's find the order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d square y plus dy minus 6y equals to x. We know that d is a differential operator. We can write d square as d square by dx square. Now let's write the differential equation as d square y by dx square plus dy by dx minus 6y equals to x. Here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative so our order will be 2 and highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation, d square plus d minus 6 into y equals to x, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square plus d minus 6 and q equals to x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We'll find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation or the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply put RHS to 0 then we'll get f of d into y equals to 0 which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q right here we are having q which is x right which is in x power 1 form right or we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into x power k since we are having q in x power k form for k equals to 1 Right? Since k equals to 1, we'll get only 1 derivative of x. Okay? And then d square of x, d cube of x, and so on becomes 0. Or in general, d power k of q equals to 0 for k equals to 2, 3, and so on. Okay? We'll see this later. Now let's find yc using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d square plus d minus 6 right. So let's replace the differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square plus m minus 6. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus m minus 6 equals to 0, right? We're having an auxiliary equation m square plus m minus 6 equals to 0. Now let's, let's find roots to this equation. Let's write plus 3s, sorry, plus ms, plus 3m, minus 2m. And last term remains the same. This equals to, now take m common from the first two terms, we'll get m times m plus 3. And take minus 2 common from the next two terms, we'll get minus 2 times m plus 3 equals to 0. See, minus 2 into m is minus 2m, minus into minus plus, sorry, minus into plus minus, 2, 3 is our 6. 
we are having m plus 3 in both the terms. So let's take them common. We'll get m plus 3 into m minus 2 equals to 0. Now we equate each term to 0. Then we'll get m plus 2. Sorry. m plus 3 equals to 0 and m minus 2 equals to 0. From m plus 3 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 3. And from m minus 2 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 2. Right? Then m equals to minus 3, 2 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. Therefore, m equals to minus 3 and 2 are the roots of f of m equals to 0, which are real and distinct. Or we can call them as real and different. We know that when two roots say m1, m2 are real and distinct, then yc looks like c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 e power the other root into x. Then our complementary function looks like y is equals to c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 e power under root into x. Right? Then y is equals to c1 e power minus 3 into x is minus 3x plus c2 e power 2 into x 2x. Right? Which is a complementary function. Now let's find particular integral. Particular integral. We'll find particular integral using yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. If is equals to 1 by f of d, we are having d square plus d minus 6 and q is x. Right? So, now let's take, see the denominator is of descending order. Let's take the lowest degree term common from all the terms. But, in the first two terms, we don't have any minus 6. So, what we'll do is, we'll just multiply and divide minus 6 to these two terms. Okay. Multiply minus 6 or multiply and divide minus 6 to the first two terms. Okay. Plus, I'll write this minus 6 as plus or minus 6 for my convenience. So, that in the next step, I can take minus 6 common easily. Okay. This equals to 1 by now take minus 6 common, then I'll get d square plus d by this minus 6 plus 1 into x. So we can write this fraction as 1 by minus 6 into 1 by here let's write d square plus d by minus 6 as minus of d square plus d by 6 okay, plus 1 into x is equals to, now let's write 1 by minus 6 as minus 1 by 6 into 1 by, I'll write the term involving positive sign firstly, 1. And now term involving minus term. Sorry, minus sign. So, we'll get 1 minus d square plus d by 6 into x. Right? Now, this fraction is of some 1 by 1 minus x form. You can write it as 1 minus x whole inverse. Right? Then, this becomes minus 1 by 6 into 1 minus d square plus d by 6 whole inverse into x. Now we have yp minus 1 by 6 into 1 minus d square plus d by 6 whole inverse into x. 
Now, before expanding 1 minus x whole inverse using binomial series expansion, let's find derivatives of x. Derivative of x. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Now, let's find d square of q, which is derivative of derivative of q, which is equal to derivative of, we have derivative of x is 1. And now we need to find derivative of a constant with respect to x. We know that derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0, right? So d square of x is 0. Likewise, find d cube of x is equal to derivative of d square of x. We have d square of x value which is 0. And we know that derivative of a constant or 0 is 0, right? So d cube of x is also 0. And here after you'll get derivatives of x 0, 0, 0, 0, right? It continues. So in general, d power k of x is 0 for k equals to 2, 3 and so on. Right? Now, keeping this in mind, we'll expand this using binomial series expansion. 1 minus x whole inverse, which is equal to 1 plus x plus x square. You're having minus here and minus here, right? So, firstly, you'll get plus, plus, plus. You'll have only plus sign. x cube plus so on. Now, for x equals to d square plus d by 6, we'll get 1 plus d square plus d by 6 plus d square plus d by 6 whole square plus so on, right? We know that only derivative of x we have value, right? We have value for only the first derivative of x. Remaining higher derivatives can be omitted, right? So, from here, you'll get exactly higher derivatives, right? So, we can neglect from here and we can take only the first two terms. 1 plus d square plus d by 6. If you want, you can check this term. We'll show you. You can write d plus d whole square by 6 as d square plus d whole square by 6 square, which is equal to d square plus d whole square, I expand this using a plus b whole square formula, a square plus b square plus 2ab by 36, which is equal to d square whole square, a power m whole power n is a power m into n to do the 4, plus d square plus 2 into d square plus d power 1, 2 plus 1, 3, that is d cube by 36. We know that d power 4 of x is 0, right? And also d square of x is 0, d cube of x is 0. So it is clear that the higher powers d square, d cube, d power 4 of q will be 0. So we can neglect terms from here. Okay? Now this becomes 1 plus 1 by 6 into d square plus d. Right? Now. Coming to yp is equals to minus 1 by 6 into 1. As I said earlier, we'll just use first two terms. 1 plus d squared plus d by 6 plus d squared plus d by 6 whole square plus 1 into x. Since Higher derivatives from d square, d cube, and so on can be, or we can neglect higher derivatives. 
is d power k of x is 0 for k equals to 2, 3 and so on. So, neglect higher derivatives from d square, d cube and so on. Now, yp becomes minus 1 by 6 into 1 plus. So, from here we will neglect all the highest powers or higher derivatives I can say. 1 plus d square plus d by 6 into x which is equal to minus 1 by 6 into 1 plus 1 by 6 into d square plus d into x. yp equals to minus 1 by 6 into 1 plus 1 by 6 d square plus 1 by 6 into d into x. Which is equals to minus 1 by 6 into 1 into x is x. Plus 1 by 6 into d square of x. Plus 1 by 6 into derivative of x. Which is equal to minus 1 by 6 into x. Plus 1 by 6 into we know that d square of x is 0. Right? Plus 1 by 6 into derivative of x. 1. This becomes minus 1 by 6 into x plus 0 plus 1 by 6 which is equal to minus 1 by 6 into x plus 1 by 6. I can take the same of the two terms under brackets then you'll get minus 1 by 6 into x into 6 6x six plus 1 by 6. Then yp becomes minus 1 by 6 into, we can write this fraction as some 1 by 6 into 6x plus 1, right? Which is equals to minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 by 6 is the 36 into 6x plus 1. Therefore, yp equals to minus 1 by 36 into 6x plus 1. Now let's write. The general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 e power minus 3x plus c2 e power 2x plus yp minus 1 by 36 into 6x plus 1, which is the required solution. So, we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.